Hey friend, if you make videos and you want to know how to do it faster, then you're doing it right now, then stick around because I'm sharing my number one secret with you. And it's one that I've used in my 10 year video production career on $50,000 shoots for big brand clients and on $0 shoots in my living room recording my YouTube videos. That number one secret to make videos faster is to use a teleprompter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a prompter in a way that speeds up your video making process and also in a way that does not look like you are reading. Let's get into it. Okay, so if you don't know me, I'm Shauna. I've been making videos, producing video content and commercials for like, 10 years now. If you wanna know more about me, check out this video here. But my friend, the most important thing that you need going into recording any video is to know what your message is, AKA what you're going to say or what you're going to show in your video. And these days you can make really valuable videos with just your phone. And I wanna show you how to do it super efficiently and quickly using my favorite teleprompter app. It looks like this. It's literally called Teleprompter. Look for it in your app store. I am not an affiliate of this app. I literally just love it. And it has helped me record professional looking videos much faster on my phone. So I recommend it to all of my friends, to all of my clients. Now, if you don't have an iPhone and you are living that Android life, check out one of these prompter apps here and you can apply the same tips that I'm sharing here in this video to make better videos with a prompter app. All of the apps work pretty similarly. Just use the information in this video and apply it to the app of your choice. Now, real quick disclaimer here, because a lot of people are like, ew, I don't wanna use a prompter. Recording with a prompter isn't something that you have to do when you're recording your videos, but it can really save you time if you have very specific information that you need to cover in a video. Or if you're a beginner at making videos, or if you tend to ramble, or if you want your editing to go faster. Those are all really good reasons to use a prompter, and you may find that you don't need to use a prompter forever, and that's awesome. I personally like using them because literally, my friend, it cuts my editing time in more than half. And it also makes it so that I don't have to memorize a script before I get on camera. Super efficient. Okay, let's take this step by step. How to use a teleprompter app to record videos fast. Step one, you need to write your script. Now, when you're writing a script for a teleprompter, you need to skip a line between each sentence. This helps you to have a script that's easily readable and that doesn't get all jumbled up. So write your script and skip a line between each sentence. I'll sometimes even break up long sentences at the commas or at the pauses so that I can like take a breath when I'm reading. Next, import the script into the app. I always save my scripts to my computer and then copy and paste the text into the app because I use my scripts to repurpose for a lot of other different things. You can use them for like captions and emails. So save your script somewhere and copy and paste the text into the app. With this teleprompter app, at least, a lot of the times the formatting might not transfer if I copy and paste directly to my phone. So I will go in there and make sure the lines are all skipped properly. You can also use the app on your computer, at least on a Mac, and you can adjust your script there. Then you need to adjust your settings once you open up the individual script that you're going to be recording. There are different settings meant for different situations. In this app that I use, and in literally the whole reason I use it and why I pay for the pro plan, you can reverse your text so that you can see the app with prompter glass that goes over the top of a pro camera lens. We are not going to go into detail about that today in this video, but leave a comment if you wanna see how I do this for my YouTube videos. Literally doing it right now. In this video, we're just focusing on how to use your prompter to record on your phone. So the settings for your phone, you need to keep the letters the proper way that you would read them on a page, left to right, not mirrored, because you're going to be reading them as they scroll up. And you wanna make sure that the words are scrolling up, not down. Next thing to keep in mind when you are reading the words on your screen, try to pick a speed that allows you to read the words at the top of the screen and to keep pace with those words at the top of the screen. The more that you can keep your eyes near the top of your phone, the closer it will look like you are looking at the actual camera lens. If you are reading words that are at the bottom of the screen, it will be a lot more obvious that you are reading a script. You can read either horizontally or vertically. You would want to record vertically for IGTV or reels or stories, and you would want to record horizontal videos for YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn, and they can also be posted to IGTV as well. 
Make sure your camera is set up somewhere stable, either on a tripod or even propped against something or with one of the million phone mounts that are out there. Lots of times I'll use this iPad stand with a rubber band around the phone and that lets me tilt the phone if I need without it falling off. So at this point, you're all set up, you're ready to go. The last thing you need to do is push record and this will start your camera and then you push the start button and that will start your prompter moving and you can read your script. Make sure when you're recording, you smile and you use your hands to express yourself and you will be good to go. If you want more tips on how to appear more natural on camera, check out my Confident on Camera mini course linked in the description below. It goes into a ton of detail on how to look and sound your best in your videos and it also helps you to move past those limiting beliefs like the fear of rejection and imposter syndrome. It has helped thousands of entrepreneurs like you get confident enough to start making videos for their business. So check that out below. And if you use any of the tips in this video, you should totally tag me on Instagram. I love to share your content and cheer you on on your video journey. And if you like this video, hit that like button. Share this video with a friend who wants to start recording videos. Sharing is caring. You can also check out one of these videos here to learn more about how to level up your business or your brand with your content or how to grow on social media. And we've got tons of content coming up to help you stand out online, record videos easier, grow on social media. You don't want to miss out. Thanks for hanging out with me, my friend, and happy brand building. I will catch you in the next video.